So we have most of the basic mechanics working for this scene. Now I want some camera works here. I want to be able to zoom in a little bit to my character selection. And for that, I'm going to use something called a state-driven camera for Cinemachine. And if you've never used Cinemachine before, I would recommend that you check out my other video about Camera Shake. It's in the playlist. That's the video where I start from scratch. For this one, I already have the state-driven camera set up here. I'm just going to change some of the data here. First, let me exit play mode. And this camera controller, or the animator, this is the same controller that I'm using from the previous scene. So I want to delete this and create a new one just for this scene. First, let me go into the camera folder. I want to rename this folder to make it clear. This is a game camera. And I want to go into the character select and create another folder in here. I'm going to call it character select camera. So this is going to be different from what we've been working on in, in our other scene. And inside this folder, I'm going to create a new animator, animator controller, and name it character select cam animator. And this animator is going to have four different states based on the number of the character types that we have. We have none. We have yellow. We have red. green. I'm going to go back to the scene. I'm going to create an empty object. Name it character select camera controller. I want to drag in the animator. And I'm going to turn this into a prefab. Okay. Now if I look at the state driven camera again, it's missing the animated target. I'm going to put this in here. So now this animator controller is going, going to be controlling our state driven camera. And I'm going to duplicate the virtual camera three times. So one is going to be for none yellow, we'll also have green and red. So four different types of cameras, we're going to be triggering each camera based on what character we select. And the green camera is going to focus on the green player, obviously. So I'm going to drag in spine one into follow and look at target. Same thing same thing with red, because right now it's following the yellow player. I want to drag in spine one from the red character to the red camera. Okay. And for yellow and none, I think I'm going to leave the target at the center player. I'm going to go into the animator and I'm going to create a bunch of parameters. First is going to be none. I'm going to match the parameter names to the enum. Yellow, green, and red. And based on these parameters, we're going to make the transitions. And every one of the states is going to have a transition to every other state, something like this. Oops. Okay. And I'm 
I'm going to set up the transitions. We don't want any exit time. And we just got to match the names red for the red state, none parameter for the none, again, none. Basically, we do this for every state and transaction from um, transition. Let's make sure that we don't make any mistakes. everything let me just make sure double check okay looks good let me go back to the state driven camera controller and for something like this I want the camera transition to be smooth so I'm gonna increase the time to 1.5 and I'm gonna add all of the states so none is going to be none. Just got to match the numbers again, the names. Oh, red, green. I'm also going to click on one of these states and create a new script, a behavior. I'm going to call it select camera state. First, drag it into the right folder. Okay, I'm going to go into the script. And this is exactly what I did uh, in my previous scene where I did the camera shake. I'm only going to use on state exit. And whenever we make a transition, I want to set each of the enums back to default, each of the bull parameters back to default. So in order to do that, I'm going to look at, I think it was called playable character type. I want to get all of them at, in the beginning, in the first line. I'm going to use system enum get values. I want to get the type of the enum. And I want it as an array. So once we have all of the enums, I want to turn all of the parameters back to false. And remember, we set the parameters name to match the enum. If I press F12 again, just to check all capital letters. Okay, make sure we save everything. And I'm gonna go back and add the behavior to every single one of these states, all four of them. So each time we trigger a parameter here, whatever parameter that we trigger, the state camera is going to switch to that parameter, that state. And then as soon as the transition is made, all the parameters are going to be set, set to false so that we can trigger another um, camera transition. Now all we got to do is specify when we want to make the transition. I'm going to go into mouse control. I'm going to go down to the click, get mouse button zero. And whenever we make the click, well, before we do anything, I think we should find 
open the character select camera first. Character select. Mm, we need to get the animator of the character select camera. Character select cam animator. And for this, again, I'm just going to use quick and dirty code. Find the object by name. Character select camera controller. Let me check the name. Character select camera controller. Okay, we find that game object and then we get the animator from that game object. Okay, and we go back down and whenever we make the mouse click, we want to get the animator and we want to set bull based on the selected character type make it turn it into a string and turn it true okay this should make the camera transition for each of the characters that we click Let's save everything and go back to unity and if I click play, let's hope that everything works. So we got the yellow camera. Okay, good. Looks like the transitions are working. So we have to set the parameters or the variables. We just got to change or fine tune the offset. So now that we're focusing on the green character we gotta reset the camera position okay you know you can do whatever you want here seems about right for me for green oh, before you make any changes in the play mode make sure that you have this checked so the data gets saved so now I'm gonna change the variables for the red character seems about right for me so if I get rid of the guide okay looks good to me so whenever we make the transitions the camera moves towards the player or the character that we selected Um, so that's it for today. I'm not going to add UI in this video. I think I'm going to do that um, later. Just not now. Because I think UI just takes a lot of manual labor. So that's it for today. Let me know if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.